What do we get? The Book of Entities. In 1655, a woodcutter by the name of Harold Powell was born in Cardiff, Wales. Hideously deformed at birth, he suffered the taunts and ill will of those around him. At 17 years of age, he proposed marriage to Emily Dickens, the innkeeper's daughter, but was cruelly rebuffed. In retaliation, he is said to have dismembered Emily with his axe. For years following the gruesome event, he went from village to village, abducting young girls and butchering them. Nice. Two years later, he was caught by the villagers and killed. However, Powell was possessed by an entity and revived to hunt rooters as the head of the subordinates. So he's the strongest one. More lavender water, thank god. This looks like it's his house. Nope, get back in the cabin, I want more water. Yes, fill the holy water. Is there anything else important in here? Ah, there's the save! Okay. Ah, boy. Where the hell are we? So we're in this cabin down here. Obviously we need to go up and to the left. There's nothing else out here. Oh, I can actually get off the path here. That's convenient as all get out. That's not. Those could be a lot better. This looks like a fighting area. Hey, what's this? Or is this... Hmm. I'm gonna get lost. Asshole's gonna start chasing me again. Oh yeah, we're back at the car. Oh, there's gotta be something important at the car. It's Mum's handwriting. Two weeks until Alyssa's birthday. I'm so worried that I don't know what to do with myself. I sent her to boarding school so that she wouldn't have to fight as a rooter. But will the entities let Alyssa's heart go so easily? They say a rooter heart is necessary for the ritual of engagement. A rooter heart taken from the body of one who has reached her 15th birthday. I only hope she can elude them until her birthday is passed. I got news for you. Even after my 15th birthday... My 15th birthday will still have passed. So here's a big car. Oh, okay, so the big car crash. We go that way, we go that way. If we go here, we get to somewhere else. Oh boy. That time again already, huh? Statue of a three-eyed lion. Yes, press the switch in his mouth. Why not? Oh, nice trick. <laughs> Boy, you're still kind of stupid, Chopper. One-eyed lion. Okay. Oh, there he is. Something written on the outer front. Purify thyself with holy water and awaken the lions in order. Well, I don't know what the hell that means. I'm to get chased around a lot. God damn. Ah! The camera controls are killing me. No, seriously, they're killing me. You're a terrible shot, Alyssa. One evade point in here. And he's gonna come oh, over nice and make my panic bar up. go up really fast. Which really sucks. And yeah. oh nice trick. <laughs> and I'm gonna go into panic mode. Well maybe, maybe, maybe. Did he walk far enough away? Yes he did. Oh, thank goodness. Oh nice trick. <laughs> appears to have left. We'll give him a minute. 
Okay, so awaken the three-eyed lions in order. Purify yourself with holy water. Uh, let's see if we can figure this out. Be nice if he dropped something periodically when he left. Now the um, lack of tank controls in this game is a real pain in the ass. Because whenever the camera changes, your controls change. Purify thyself with holy water and awaken the lions in order. I don't know. Maybe I did it accidentally? Nothing's happening. Of course it isn't. Oh. No. Oh, I bet there's another lion statue hidden somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, God, I hope they're not back at the graveyard. That would suck. God damn it. I'm trying to solve a puzzle, piss off. back to the cabin, and then I'm going to render footage and figure out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Excuse me. Yeah. Moths. No, what the love of shit, woman? Keep running. God damn it, Alyssa. Oh, nice trick. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back. 